nerds and nerdettes, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. If you're coming back and listening to the show again, thank you. If this is your first time, this is how the show works. We answer a few questions with time limits, and uh, hopefully we get a debate going. That's that's the goal. We are InsertCoinToBegin.com, where we cover gaming news for gamers by gamers. Because, after all, we are nothing but nerds and gamers. Uh, you can find us on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, at InsertCoinTB. And we are here live every week, eh, give or take 8 o'clock, at Live.SorgatronMedia.com, where you are tuned into currently or in the future. Because we're time travelers like that, right? 14 minute delay from us broadcasting from Mars. Exactly. Uh, joining us this week is Frank Chinoweth and Bobby of J-Town, both contributors to InsertCoinToBegin.com. How are you guys? Doing good. good. All right. You guys ready to do this? Yes. All right. So, the first three questions that we do, we'll receive a time limit of five minutes each. And then we have the big question of the show, which will receive whatever time we have remaining. As always, we start with this simple, what are you playing and did you play the challenge? This week's challenge was the Family Guy Online game. Frank. Yes. What are you playing, sir, and did you play the challenge? Well... It's Family Guy. I'm a huge Family Guy fan, so I'm like, you know, I really want to make a point to play the challenge this week. So I go to the website, and I fill in everything, and I click log in, and the page separates itself where I have the background above itself, and then below the background, I have the rest of the text. And it says that my password is incorrect whenever I was trying to create a profile. And I did it three more times, and it would not let me in. So unfortunately, I failed the challenge this week of logging into the Family Guy game. <laughs> So instead, I went and I ruled my little island in Tropico. Fantastic. And I also played some, uh, I played the Transformers Fall of Cybertron demo, which is amazing. It's mm -hmm. absolutely fantastic. Just excellent. All right, Bobby? I've also been playing the Fall of Cybertron demo, which is, is amazing. Um, Vortex, the helicopter, is awesome. And Bumblebee, of course, is cool. Um, I didn't get to play the challenge this week because I have a online addiction, and that is Marvel Avengers Alliance. I'm trying to unlock White Queen, and they 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 say you need these stupid ISO eights, and they only give you 50 per day, and you need like 10 per fight, and it's oh it's so frustrating. But you just keep going until you get the White Queen, which I haven't gotten her yet. But I'll keep you all updated. And uh, I've also been playing Civilization Five. Which uh, is another addictive game too uh, on uh, Steam. So that's fun, and it's educational. All right, and it has Abraham Lincoln. Yes, it does. And George Washington. Actually, George Washington's the American one. I don't know if it has it Lincoln or not. <laughs> it does. I read. Does it? Okay. All right. Well, uh, I, I'm still playing uh, Arkham Asylum, uh, 100 Doors, and. Uh, Call of Duty and Fight Night Round 4. I couldn't get through one of um, doors. It, it's not an easy game. No, it isn't. I think I only got to, like, the 10th door. Uh, I gave up. And I played the challenge. Uh, apparently, I played the challenge longer than you guys were able to. Um, I put in a full hour. And then I said, F this, I'm done. Um, first off, I had to shut the, the, the sound off after... I'd say 10, 15 minutes. Does it just play the Family Guy theme over and over no, again? No, no. Um, anytime you have to load something or you enter a building or anything, uh, you get Quagmire saying giggity, and it gets rather annoying really fast. <laughs> um, and because it's in a, a, beta state, a beta state so far, it, it's really laggy and not enjoyable at all. So, huh. so this is not because of my computer is like two years old that it's it's this bad. No, because I I played this for I don't know I probably put twenty minutes in on it, uh, but yeah it was really slow. Um, a little I mean it looks probably all right. Well, it's going to be choppy on your video guys, uh, but it it just seemed really kind of weird, you know. 
uh, it, it's not just the fact that it's a beta. It, it's the fact that it's a browser-based MMO. And I don't know if you can go by that, though, because there's a lot of browser games that run pretty good. Yeah. Like, I mean, remember Quake 3 Arena? Yeah, I, I uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, if I'm playing an MMO, I want it to be downloadable software. Okay. I don't want it to be uh, 100% internet reliant. Mm-hmm. Um. Wait, 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 it has to be internet reliant. It's an MMO. Internet connection, yes. Internet browser, no. Yes. Okay. That is my point exactly. Um, so yeah, and uh, hopefully it gets better. Yeah, it it has to. Yeah, but you know, it gets better. <laughs> that and every other thing in there is an advertisement. Yeah, well, it's free, so... Yeah, and it just annoyed the crap out of me. Like, um, certain certain things in the in the game will cue uh, clips from the show that are lightly related to what you're doing in the game. Kind of like cutaways, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they'll play the clip, and at the end of every clip, they tell you to go download the episode on iTunes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm just like... Which makes I, sense. It makes sense. I've seen yeah. it already. I don't... I don't yeah, yeah. want to see your advertisement for it. Uh, but yeah, so um, I think next week's challenge, we're going to do Kitten Cannon. Yes. Oh, no. Kitten. That game. Uh, Kitten Cannon is a game that you can... Uh, it's addictinggames.com slash funny hyphen games slash Kitten Cannon, or you can just go to addictinggames.com and do a search for Kitten Cannon. Uh, the point of Kitten Cannon is to see how far you can launch a kitten out of a cannon. <laughs> Sounds um, simple enough. Uh, avoiding, no. You avoid uh, certain obstacles, uh, spikes. Uh, I got eaten by a Venus flytrap after 162 feet. Um, but, it, yeah, it's, it's strangely addicting. And uh, no actual kittens were harmed in the making of the game. That's Thank my, you, Peter. Just want to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you get my sound effects? Yes, yes we did. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so yeah, that'll be uh, this week's challenge. So go over there's to. A, go ahead. There's a game similar to that on uh, on uh, Android. I don't know if it's on iPhone too. Probably no, is. It, um, it, it it's is, called it, Meowch. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, nice. No, I don't think it's the same thing. It, you you your your goal is to drop this cat off of a, out of a window and try to escape a granny that's trying to capture him. Oh, you have to bounce them off of satellite dishes. Is, it's pretty Kitten hilarious. Cannon it's kind of like Angry Android. Birds meets uh, that kit. Well, maybe Kitten Cannon a little bit. I didn't find that, but I did. I did find uh, Kitten uh, Hello Kitty dress up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can uh, <laughs> you can download it on Android or just use the uh, web and go to addictinggames.com and uh, play the play the game. <laughs> Um, res, re, you see WrestleFan? No. Uh, WrestleFan said that he played that game all throughout computer classes in middle school. Yep. Uh, yes, I've I've used this game to pass the time at work from time to time. All right, got to move on. Um, so today on InsertCoinToBegin dot com, I put up a poster from uh, Deviant Art um, of a. Uh, artist ren- rendering of what Legend of Zelda would look like as Legos. Look amazing. And it does look amazing. Like, I want a, Le- a Legend of Zelda Lego game. And that's what I put as one of my answers for this next question. Um, what game would you, or games, would you guys like to see as a Lego game? Bobby. Um, my choices were um, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. I think it would be cool to see a fighting game with Lego fighters. I- any fighting game, really. Um, could you imagine like the fatalities, like just busting the, one of the Lego guys apart, oh, or slamming be- and slamming them through like a, a brick house and like have <laughs> bricks fly everywhere? You know, you know um, uh, that uh, Mortal Kombat's owned by Warner Brothers now. Yeah, that who, who could does? Be possible. Lo- who I think has been doing the Lego games, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. And another one I would like to see is Red Dead Redemption in Lego form. That would be just kind of cool. I think any of the any game like that or the the GTA would be fun to to at least mm-hmm. 
see a, a video of in Lego form. Well, the, there's a new Lego game for uh, Nintendo Wii U coming out. That's like kind of. They said it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto meets Lego, only it's more kid friendly. Huh. Like you, you borrow the vehicles, I guess, instead of stealing them. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm still not impressed by Nintendo <laughs> Wii U. Um, Frank, go ahead. Um, well, one of the uh, ones that came to mind for me was Mortal Kombat. But the very first thing that just seems just way too obvious for a Lego game is the Incredible Hulk. Just because Hulk smash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would bring a whole new meaning to Hulk Smash. Yep. Um, uh, like I like I mentioned, I said Legend of Zelda. Um, however, I also said Call of Duty. <laughs> I, I I would love to play a Lego Call of Duty game. Uh, I just think that watching little Lego guys strapped with C four running at you would be amazing. Um. <laughs> Pete Holmes, uh, who has a podcast, used to, before his podcast, he was sponsored by Gamefly, and he would make up uh, games from from Gamefly instead of using real games, and he made up uh, Lego Sophie's Choice was one of them, and Lego <laughs> Precious. <laughs> it was what I I was rolling. It was great. Well, it, you know, we have a little bit more time uh, dedicated to this question because we didn't even use half of it. So let, let's extend it a little bit. <laughs> what movie would you like to see redone with Legos? Go ahead, Frank. Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> or Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, that would be amazing. Somebody yeah. did a, like, a video with, like, with that. Uh, with chat the, room, out of Legos. Chat room, you're allowed to play along. So yeah. if, if you have any <laughs> good ones that you want to you want us to to mention, go ahead and just put them in there. Um, uh, Frank. Yeah. What said, movie? Said die Hard. Oh, Die Hard. Oh, die Hard. Sorry, Bobby. <laughs> Lego Days of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Braveheart. <laughs> Top Gun. I'm gonna die have hard. to. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go with uh Ciro says Shaun of the Dead. Any any uh Kevin Smith movie. Yeah, that would be good. Um Snakes on a Plane. <laughs> Snake like Lego Snakes on a Plane. Um, Dirty Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> somebody actually made speaking of Shaun of the Dead, somebody actually made a so Shaun of the Dead set mm -hmm. that they're trying to get Lego to make of the Wars Warsaw. <laughs> Did you see the 16-bit one? Oh man, I want that game. <laughs> hey, Juggalo John in the uh, in the chat room said 300, which I think would be a great. Oh, one. that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, RoboCop from Hot Wheels. Ghostbusters. Um, uh, Ghostbusters would be good. That would be cool. And I think I'd have to go with Pulp Fiction. Yes. <laughs> I think Pulp Fiction as or Legos Bill. or Reservoir oh, Dogs. Oh any yes, any Quentin Tarantino yeah. film. Done Boys as masters. Lego would be hilarious. Um, I, I, I'm just picturing the uh, the scene with John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson driving through <laughs> with the guy in the back of the yeah. in the back of the car, <laughs> and just Lego bits fly everywhere. Oh man! I just think that that would be the uh, the the it's one that <laughs> would, it's a brick royale with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> would be the best, yeah. Because I mean, you could put you could put dumb twi like puns like that in the movie, and it would just make it amazing. <laughs> hey, right. From from the chat, uh, Hot Wheels said both RoboCop and Smokey and the Bandit, which I, oh, I think those would also be good choices. <laughs> just uh, just the Burt Reynolds Lego character, <laughs> the mustache alone, Dom DeLuise, <laughs> the, must <laughs> the mustache alone. Uh. <laughs> all right, all right, we got to move on. Um, uh, another topic that I came across on the internet uh, today while uh, looking at press releases and, you know, the things that we do when we're writing articles um, was a point that was brought up. Do you think uh, gaming would be better if you had to start over every time you died? Hmm. Like, you did away with save points or... Uh, 
rewinding or you know things of that nature do you think gaming would be better oh, um i ahead. misunderstood the question go ahead uh frank um yes and no uh i think that it would be better because it would put more on the line for whenever you're racing because the thing that i always think of uh with the whole start from beginning thing is i play a lot of racing games and some of those are like 15 20 minute races and I've also played some of the endurance races that are just two hours of just going around in a circle. The thing is, some of those, if you make one wrong turn, that's the race. You've just lost the entire thing because of one turn. Yeah. So to be able like, to not have that rewind function, that would put so much more on the table for that. But that would also just drive stress just through the roof. So I don't think that it would be good in that sense because it would take away a good bit of the fun of games by making you stressed out every time you uh, botch a turn. That's true. Bobby? Um, I kind of misunderstood the question, but I, I'll kind of combine my answer with the the new, the uh, the real question. Um, I think the, the rewind and all that stuff has kind of ruined gaming a little bit. Because it kind of makes it too easy. There's no challenge. Like, with the new Super Mario Brothers had that hint thing where they would they would give you a hint in the game of how to beat the level. And I was like, it's like, really? You, you need a hint? We didn't have hints back when we had Nintendo, when we started out, or Atari. You know, and, and it, it's just ridiculous, I think. Okay. Also, also Sister, Lego Sister Act 2. <laughs> Back in the habit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Save, save any more Lego ideas you have for the end, please. Okay. We got to get through this because <laughs> I can't, ha I can't have three minute laugh breaks in between answers. <laughs> Um, I, I agree with Frank. I said uh, yes and no. Um, I, I think it would be bad for gaming in general. Uh, there would be less people dedicated to video gaming than there are now. However, uh, I'm a fan of the challenge. And I think that would just increase the challenge greatly. So, I, I mean, it's, it's a double-edged double sword. Uh, you you get more from it, but there would be less of it. Because I mean, honestly, if people weren't play, if as many people weren't playing video games, then there wouldn't be uh, the video games that we get as often as we get them. Uh, the chat room, Russell fan said no because it would probably cause more gamer rage, <laughs> and I could see that there would be. Uh, a lot more TVs and controllers and windows ruined uh, from people just whipping their controller across the room or at their TV or in general. Um, Zero 2K said depends on the game. RPGs wouldn't work. Platforms or uh, first-person shooters could work. Um, I'm going to refute that statement with uh, and tell you Metroid. That's all I'm going to say. And if if you're a true gamer, then you understand what that means. Uh, Metroid is an R is essentially an RPG, and the original was unless you wrote down the passwords, which I never did. <laughs> unless you wrote down the passwords, if you die, you start it over. Uh, and that, and those passwords all. were super long. Though. Yeah, that's exactly why I never wrote them down. Do you remember the Mega Man ones, the dots and the, oh. the, the grass? Oh, yeah. So you I, write I mean, down red, blue. Uh, it, it depends on uh, the RPG. Uh, Rebellious Flaw said uh, she hated when she was a kid and had to restart Rad Racer. Um, and Juggalo John said these kids today have it too easy with their saving and their walkthroughs. <laughs> Get off my shed. Wisdom of Bob's and, and Hot Wheels said he just got 767 feet with Kit and Cannon. Wow. <laughs> Well, well done, sir. Well done. The and show's... for that, we give you this mental image. Lego Last of the Mohicans. Oh, stop oh. it. <laughs> he said, wait till the end. All right, all right, a boss fight. AJ tweeted uh, Tecmo Bowl. <laughs> Tecmo Bowl. 
Lego Tech Mobile. I think any, I think any Lego sports game. Could you imagine yeah, like I, a three D Lego, Lego Madden, Lego Mutant uh, League Football? <laughs> I was gonna say NHL. Lego NBA Jam. Oh man, Lego WWE twelve. Lego Lego NFL Blitz. <laughs> Uh, I'm back on NBA oh, Jam. God. I'm back on NBA Jam. He's on fire, and these brick fire starts coming from the rim. <laughs> if NBA Jam were real, they would have to reschedule that game because the ball is on fire. <laughs> Come on, Nanjiani said that. <laughs> All right, All right uh, the boss fight. You guys ready? Yes. Hey, Kitten Cannon with Lego. <laughs> Okay. I'm yeah, back. yeah, I can see that. That would be that would be fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, this isn't so much as a debate, uh, but a discussion more so. What is to date your greatest gaming accomplishment? Chat room. I want to see yours too, Sorg. Yours as well. Go ahead, um, Bobby. Go ahead. Uh, one of my biggest was beating Rampage. Only to have it say thanks for playing at the end. Oh. I got the whole way through, and I, I and I played for I think it was like almost eight hours straight when I was a little kid, and it was just such a disappointment. But I felt so accomplished beating that game because it's a long game and you can't restart. Yeah. Once you hit reset, you start from back back from the beginning. There was no there were no passwords, nothing like that. That was a tough one. Um, mm. Red Dead Redemption, when I finished that, I felt accomplished because that was also a long game. And it was really fun to play, too. Really good storyline. Um, and both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were two big, big ones because I beat them. I didn't have an N64, so I beat them on the GameCube when they re-released them. And I really felt accomplished when I did that with both those games because they're, they're really good games. And it just felt really good taking down Ganondorf. <laughs> So. It feels good every time you take yeah, down Can yeah. Ganondorf. Um, Frank? Uh, for me, it was just having the patience and the dedication to sit down at one point and do a two-hour endurance race in Gran Turismo 4 that I ended up winning by, like, I, I had a good 15 laps up on the other people, but it was just the fact that to just sit down and do the endurance race and keep the tire changes and fueling stops and all that in mind while you're doing it. That, that was just, uh, it, it felt accomplishing. You didn't and do the rubber band the trick? The thing is any of the Assassin's Creed, uh, I believe, Brotherhood levels, where they put you in the uh, cave and you had to go through in like a speed run, any, there were a few of them where I was able to beat it in the time limit on the first try, and I got the achievement for it on the first try. That is a good feeling, whenever you can do those. All right. Um, yeah, I, I put... Um, I, I beat Legend of Zelda, the original, and uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Wow. Um, the, the original, I did no map. Because, I mean, you can go online and get a map and just fly through the game. Um, but yeah, I, I beat, uh, the original Legend of Zelda Master Quest, no map, and then just beating, uh, Ocarina of Time Master Quest was a huge accomplishment, because that game was, uh, was long, and uh, the Master Quest made it extremely difficult overall. Um, and then the, the other one that I ranked up there in, uh, was it just happened yesterday honestly um and then two days or a day before it oh let's start a, a day before yesterday i uh got to level 26 on survivor uh, survival mode in call of duty on resistance which means it took two helicopters three juggernauts uh dogs with c4 uh, people with C4 and normal troops to take me down. Why would they do that to dogs? I know. <laughs> I don't understand it. Like I, like I was like, oh man. I'm like I have a hard enough time shooting the dogs when they're chasing me. They're but... no better than tickers in <laughs> Gears of War. I know. <laughs> um, and then yesterday, I I I got bored going through survivor survival mode. So I uh, 
I decided that when I got to the three juggernaut level, I wasn't going to use my normal strategy, which is to camp out by the predator missiles and just blast them in the face. Um, so what I did was I killed all three juggernauts. Well, I killed two of the three juggernauts using flashbangs and assault rifles only. Jeez. Wow. And then the third juggernaut, I got lucky and was in uh, self revive mode. And I, apparently I'd done enough damage to him beforehand that I was able to kill him with a headshot using my handgun. <laughs> so it, I, those were huge accomplishments for me because, I mean, they're juggernauts. <laughs> they're not exactly uh, easy targets. Sorg. Hi. Oh, hey. 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 What would you um, consider your greatest gaming accomplishment thus far? Mega Man 2 felt really good when I beat him when yeah. I was younger. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty epic ending. That was like the first like epic ending. Yeah. Um, and beating like Metal Gear Solid 2 in like two weeks is still like one of my greatest like run throughs I've ever done on a game because I, because I was borrowing it, I think. So yeah, and, and it got really it. bad. It got really it got really bad, you know, towards the end where, you know, you've been where the where like. It goes crazy, and the, the, the colonel or whatever says, you've been playing this game too long. Which is, like, <laughs> at three in the morning, yeah. that's pretty, like, yeah. what the hell is going on. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the chat room, because we got some pretty good answers in there. And some uh, some kitten can updates. So let's uh, <laughs> let's start with the, uh, the answers to the question. Um, Juggalo John got to Paladin in one night on Final Fantasy II SNES, which is the which is four in Japan, which is a huge huge feat uh, for that game. Um, Zero Two K said beating uh, NES Mario Brothers and Mario Brothers Three without warp tubes or flutes used, which just takes uh, dedication and willpower. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, how can you not? I mean, I, I've done it, but it's just hard to mm -hmm. not to not just hop in that tube. Sorg, <laughs> turn your mic up for a second. What? If we were to go sit down and play Super Mario Brothers 3 right now, yeah. how long would it take you to use a warp whistle? Uh, like three levels? I don't know. It depends on what my goal is. Because, I mean, you play. I play Mario 3 with the... I want to play this level, or I want to play this level. Not like I want to go through all these levels and beat it, you know. So it would it would take you probably like ten minutes then. Yeah, it depends on where what my goal. Like I really want to play the the the, the large level, you know. I was level four, like where you, they're the super large turtles and everything like that. Because that was always like whoa. Yeah, I, I I'm a fan. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember. I, I specifically remember like last time. I think when I played it with you, like I ended up in world five where it's uh, separated and there's a cloud one, which is like the worst one for me to have tried. Yeah, but yeah, okay. It, it, it's just it, it 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 takes willpower to not do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially mm -hmm. after you've beaten the games in their entirety. Once you're aware of it, it's just yeah, yeah. Um, and then. Uh, Juggler John said that his brother Jeff can beat Zelda 3, which is a link to the past, in an hour without saving. Um, I could do that. I, 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 and it's not that a, a, a link to the past isn't a, a difficult game, but out of all of the Zeldas, it's, it's probably the easiest one. And I've played that one the most. So, I, I mean, that is, it's an accomplishment, don't get me wrong. Uh, Rebellious Flaw said, uh, beating Rad Racer and having her cousins look at her in amazement. And then she uh, also said that she's, she likes playing the level, so she doesn't use the warp whistles at all. And Ciro said, also, Street Fighter Two defeated Saget with no continues. Well done. I would also add uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 to mine. That was a, a big accomplishment for me. That's it. Now, the only thing that I, uh, going back to what to what Fuzz said, uh, the only thing with the the two hour endurance race is I would get bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you start to spin the other cars out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like I, endurance isn't a problem for me, given what I do once a year. 
yeah. and sit down for 24 hours and play video games straight. But I couldn't play that game for two hours straight. Do you remember and, the uh, cheat in Gran, Tur- Gran Turismo? Which one? The uh, You take the fastest car, I think it was like a Subaru rally car or something like that, or a Scudo or something like that, and you take two rubber bands, rubber band the two analog controllers together and just let it go on a circle track, and it would just circle around. <laughs> and you could, like, walk away, come back. Oh, it's still racing. Okay. That's Leave. Amazing. Come back. <laughs> Uh, good times. Uh, Zero said that uh, in Metal Gear Solid 3, defeating Big Boss at the end with yeah. only close cam- combat is indeed a nice feat. All right, One uh, of my favorite boss fights of all time. Too. Let's uh, let's get to the kitten cannon updates, and then we'll, we'll, we'll leave. Um, Hot Wheels got up to 938 feet, and WrestleFan has the highest score of the show so far with 1,120 feet on kitten cannon. Wow. So... We'll, we'll use that as a benchmark. That'll be the high score to beat come next Tuesday. And, and just let us know if you do it. You can email us at insertcointobegin at gmail.com and let us know what score you got. Or you can tweet us at insertcointb. We're on Facebook. We're on Google+. Or go to insertcointobegin.com for all of our daily news stories each and every day. Written by us for you our loyal, loyal audience for which we don't have a purpose. Don't look at me like that. I'm being sweet to our (laughs) listeners and viewers. I'm showing them appreciation for putting up with us for however long we talk. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, yeah, reach us at all of those places. You can join us each and every week at live.sorgatarmedia.com If you can't join us then, you can download the show on iTunes Give us stars, leave comments, let us know what you think. I am Chachi Says for at Fuzzwad, at Bobby FJ Town. Keep it nerdy. We'll see you next time. Lego Still Magnolias? Lego Ten Commandments. Oh, <laughs> Lego Jerry Maguire. Lego, Lego Stand By Me. <laughs> <laughs>